My grandmother told me, once you go to Chengdu, you only ever want to leave. Now that she's getting old and can't go very far, she asked me to make a film of Chengdu so that she can see the city once again. Miss Tam, my friend's little sister, is a sweet Chengdu girl. Looking at the scene before me, I can't believe that this is the place my grandmother often told me about. This is a thatched cottage from my grandma's memory. I suppose she must have many beautiful dreams about this place when she was young. Miss Tan told me, throughout its history, Chengdu has been a place nourished by the water flowing from the 2,000-year-old Dujiangyan irrigation system. I remember a ballad my grandmother sang to me when I was a child. First rhythms of traditional culture and modern civilization are in such perfect harmony here that every day I can feel an intense breath life from the city. My grandmother told me that when she was young, one of the things she enjoyed most was strolling down Trenchy Road. The city fascinates me with its rhythm, fluctuating between vibrant excitement and calm peacefulness. The picture I sent back to my grandmother improved her spirits. I was pleased that she's even eating better now. I told my grandmother I was enjoying my stay in Chengdu so much and wanted to stay for a few more days. In Chengdu, even at 3 o'clock in the morning, you can smell the aroma of hot pot. Finally, I can't resist the temptation to go and eat this delicious dish again. After only a few days' stay, I must admit, I am reluctant to leave this city. At the airport, Miss Tan took something from her bag. She said she had been thinking of my grandmother and wanted me to give her this gift. My grandmother is right. Chengdu is a city you hate to leave once you come.